And we're back with the War of Crows, episode 12. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> and as my summary says, we are amidships, we're amid score. Mm. How exciting. It's a terrifying place to be, but also the most exciting. Yeah. And we don't need to do much for a recap as well because you were all there and you're all here again. Woo! Okay. Just to remind you what happened, okay. let me put on some music. You were doing a score for Inspector Campbell and the Red Sashes. Not the band. Ah, oh, crickets. Crickets, I can tell you weren't listening. <laughs> I laughed, but I was muted. I know, I saw. Um, I, I was listening, but okay. <laughs> you were met at the docks by Captain Margaret Vale, leader of the Foghounds. And she tells you that your mission is to deliver some cargo to the Lamp Blacks HQ. And your job is to convince them, as their allies, to take the shipment without inspecting it. But as soon as you were aboard and out to sea, you were attacked by a trio of quite okay assassins who could not contend with the many sixes that you were rolling. Two were killed, one was taken for questioning. And so you've learnt that the whole Foghound crew are on board the ship, which includes Margaret, Bear, and six of their crew. Ooh. The sailors aboard the ship, you are told, would, would not die for the sake of the ship, so are not going to interfere with any fighting. You also learn from interrogating this chap that the cargo that you, the ship is carrying and is meant to deliver is a spark craft make. And apparently, according to some of the tipsy sailors, could walk on its own. Uh -huh. and that is where we left off. So I'm yeah. still of the mindset that we should uh, make this guy help us. Yes. So I was, I was saying last time we can pretend to like poison him and then like, you know, create the idea that we can give him the antidote if we get out of here safely. Uh, that way he'll kind of like, you know, he'll have to help us or he'll die at least. If that's what he thinks. Yes. I mean, you can give it a go. I think but I really okay. Would you want to do this, or would you want to pretend to do this? So, I, so the thing is, I don't really have a poison to, to use. Um, poisons, but he doesn't really have antidotes to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's the point? Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think you would have any. So, so, I, would say, I would say you could flashback for this. But I think it would uh -huh. cost you two stress. Wow. Because it is not something that you would probably have thought to acquire before the score, realistically. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can definitely do a flashback with that. I would actually like to. Um, and it will be an actual poison then, which is even better. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I guess, um, you know, uh, Edgar being a slide and everything, he would have prepared a few ways to kind of like manipulate his way around and get what he wants from people and be able to use them to his advantage. So it it would have made sense for him to have prepared a few things, for example, like in this case, a poison and deliberately left the antidote back on land uh, in a safe place that he has access to so that he can kind of like secure his safety. Let's put it that way. Would that be good? Run me by that again. To, that didn't make any sense to me. So yeah. So basically, he's a slut, right? He's yes. the kind of person who basically works by infiltrating, spying, that sort of stuff. Sliding. 
uh -huh. sliding exactly. Yeah. So yeah. so you know so he would carry certain things that would help him get away safely. For example, in this case, we can uh, he can poison someone with the promise of healing them, uh, giving them the antidote if he returns safely. So that way he can basically make sure that he has someone to protect him and help him achieve his goal. So in this case, this guy could help us take down the rest of the ship, basically. Mm -hmm. Right? And then the promise is that if we get back safely and he doesn't betray us, uh, we'll give him the antidote. If he, if he betrays us, he's going to die. So Look, it's if, in his fate. If you want to do this, I will definitely help you. I can definitely help. I've got, I've literally got vials and all kinds of stuff, so I can definitely help. No, no, it's fine. I, I can, I can, I can use a flashback to say that I prepared this beforehand and brought it with me. Because in your case, you don't have an antidote. You just said so yourself. Because that, that's that's the initial idea I had last week. Oh, you're saying you're, but, you're saying you're flashback. You want you will you will actually have the actual thing. You are going to actually do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. So oh, right. in the flashback, yeah. I'll have I'll, I'll I'll have prepared yeah, yeah. this this poison slash antidote combo and left one in a safe place and brought the other with me. Wow. Yeah, I think the flashback, the, the, the reward for the flashback is that you don't need to roll to persuade or convince him that what you're doing is is actually happening. Um, Perfect. So yeah, I think spend the two stress. I already have. And then, and then how is this poison administered? So we basically have this guy cornered. Um, we could. That, it could easily be just a syringe. It could very easily be one. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Don't need to think about it too much. Um, so, what do you what do you say to him? You plunge uh, it no, in. So, yeah. So basically, uh, Edgar plunges it in. Uh, he kind of like looks at him amusingly, as though he's like talking to a child. So, so here's the thing. You have two ways out of this. Alive or dead. One way would be to help us out. Why would you help us out? So, do you feel that right now? That's a very specific kind of poison going through your veins right now. If you want the antidote, you're going to have to help us get out of here. If you don't, you'll die in about 24 hours, tops. If you betray us, you don't have the antidote, you'll die. Or, we'll kill you ourselves. If you help us, maybe we can see what we can do with you. How does that sound? I guess I don't have much choice, do I? Bleeding the Arubians. I, I don't think you have, but it is your choice to make after all. I'm going, do, I'm going to do a quick fortune roll because I think a 24-hour poison would be incredibly valuable and probably not very easily accessible. No. Um, I mean, Saffron can help you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to see if that's a, a six. You, you got it. You got it. But I think uh, less than that. Well, it's a one. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I think, I think you do have the poison. Um, I think it's it's probably going to last like an hour tops. That's fine. Um, yeah. But he doesn't know that either way, so hey. Yes, because actually, I think I read somewhere like if you craft, Mike probably knows this. If you craft things like um, bombs, poisons, um, big weapons, you actually gain heat. Because mm -hmm. they're illegal. Oh yes. Yeah, if you don't have the yes, if you don't have the, get the red. Yeah, the recipes, isn't it? That's the real mm. problem. Yeah. Hmm, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Don't carry them around on your person during your scores. Mm. Um, all right. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, you'll have to... I'm sure you won't take an hour to finish the score, but, yeah. Or maybe you will, actually. So what is... Maybe I will. So you, you, have, you have his... Um, Grudging help now. Mm -hmm. um, I think when he's let go as well, he probably goes to his his two partners in their bloody pools of mess, and maybe just quickly loots them, takes their valuables and their daggers and stuff, and 
maybe does a little like makes the bodies look a bit more like you know closes eyes and puts hands oh. across chests and stuff um and then sort of stashes the knives in on this sort of holsters that he has and he goes right then looks like i'm gonna die either way so what's the plan Well, the plan is to get rid of everyone here on board and find our way back. Does that sound to you? Do you think that's achievable with the six of us? Perhaps. You guys, you, you fellas seem quite quick off the mark. I feel like Bear and the captain are the, the ones you have to worry about. We could probably catch him off guard, maybe. Well, it seems like you know the uh, the place and the people quite well. So, how do you feel about taking charge in this situation? <laughs> He's poisoned. He'll be sweating and like dying. Exactly. We don't need to need him. We just want him to like help us. We don't need him alive. I don't think he's gonna particularly persuade. Just yeah, tell me what tell me what you want to do. What I need to do yeah. to get that antidote, yeah. and I'll so, do it. Yeah. Well, then, lead the way and uh, help us take down whoever's left on this ship. Okay, is that what you're doing? You're all Scooby Doo ganging it together. I thought no. that was the plan, wasn't it? No. Yeah, the plan is to stealth around. Yeah. Lorenz is going to use his prowl, sneak out the door, and get to a high point. It's a boat. And sk- uh, yeah. it was kind of fun. It's a boat with... Uh, is it what, like, uh, I'm thinking... Things. Huh? I have like a... Like a... Like view, a main... Vantage point, yeah. Like a... Deck oh, yeah. pilot the ship from, right? A folk thinking... or, or, Fair or, enough, yeah. Know, the smokestacks or something that they're... Nest. I'm thinking like a it's car, just... like a car, like a shipping ship, like a cargo ship with a, a ship. big with a big thing on the back, right? Because they're like a. Sorry. I was picturing the ship that we have on screen yeah. right now. Is there a bridge? Yes, but you can imagine that's where the captain and people are. Okay. Well, I'll prowl to a, I'll prowl to get on top of the on top of the on top of the bridge. Okay. Stay um, way through. Go on then, roll me. Position. Uh, it's gonna be risky standard. Risky standard. How good is Gus at climbing as well? <laughs> <laughs> Gus is like a little mountain goat, mate. <laughs> Four wheel drive. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> really? A... Never roll one of the highest. Never. Today's one of those days, is it? Oh. Yeah, we had our moment last week. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, I literally said yeah. We, we've used it all, mate. No way. So, so Lorenzo, you as they fail. So I think you exit the room you're in and you head to the top deck. You see the bridge. Like, you're sort, you're sort of where all the, the crates are, all the shipping is, and you look up and you see the bridge and you see Captain Vale standing there and you can see sort of Bear standing a bit further back from her. Um, yeah, but we haven't fucked this up straight away, have we? What is, it, what is going on here? <laughs> and, you, and you see... I we are going to chill. And you hear a... Hey, you! Oh, no. And you turn and someone is... A, a, a foghound has seen you. Oh, no. I've got two pips in Prowl. This is what, like, <laughs> Lorenzo does. And yeah, but we were, gonna, we, were gonna, we, were gonna, we were gonna all move stealthily from room to room. You've just gone. I'm going to the top of the ship. <laughs> You're like... alone. That's the worst part. You're alone. Yeah, what? So we're gonna move as a group with well, like, the, the prisoners little, that everybody but... knows on the ship. We're gonna move and just walk around the ship. I was like, "That's not suspicious at all." Well, what is suspicious is just literally walking to the top of the ship. 
not That's where walking, was... <laughs> stealthily moving, which he's good at. He's and not. the dice no, fucked not. it. It's not my fault, the dice fucked it, okay? Yeah, either way it was going to be a prowl roll, so... It wouldn't have mattered if you were all together or not. Um, Could have probably led the action instead. That would have been a better idea, but hey-ho. That's fine. That worries um, me that you're alone. I've got gas. I'm never alone. <laughs> well, um... What do you do? Sorry to say. Um... <clears throat> what does he say? He goes, hey, you. Hmm. Hey, yeah. Uh... I River just turn, I, inspection. <laughs> I think. I think. Regular um, I uh. Yes, I. I've got documents. <laughs> I've got documents, and these documents, um, have have maybe a manifest of a some basic cargo a ship like this would be carrying, mm -hmm. and I, I I take it out. And I, I'm like, oh, hey, I'm just doing a uh, routine check of the uh, cargo on the ship, on the foghound. And uh, I'm going to try and um, then be like, um, back to your duty, shipmate, in a commanding way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you... I feel like it's more, more of a sway. Really. I was about to say, yeah, it's at the front. Back to your sway. duties, you naughty shipmate. Naughty <laughs> <laughs> shipmate. Mind your business. So do you... On the brig with you. Your documents. Yes. So you've got documents. Indeed. Oh, yeah. You know, we wouldn't believe how many documents. Okay, so they're not the right documents. They're like forged documents, but you're, you're faking yes. it, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So it does sound to me like well, I mean, to be fair, you could roll anything, or you could roll. Um. Yeah, I mean, if this is you distracting him, misdirecting him as you reach for a weapon, this could be hunt, you know, or prowl, or finesse, or something. Or if you're actually trying to do it, it could be sway, it could be command. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm pretending to be a senior to him working on the ship and I'm commanding him to go back to his business and you know don't care about me I'm too important for him okay I will say there's only there's only and... six foghounds so they do all know each other by name and face Ooh. oh is this a foghound not a sailor yeah uh... Are well, the the I, I used to work on a Leviathan ship as a quartermaster, so maybe my documents are better, and uh, I can use some more lingo. Some more lingo that is uh, that they would probably pass me off. It's Mikey with hair. As a knowledgeable person, and I'm pretending to be like one of the sailing staff, right? Okay. Not necessarily a foghound. Okay. So, sorry, question. Just so because I, I didn't. Get, catch this. So there's fog hounds and sailors on board. There's six thought, fog hounds. I thought the fog hounds were the sailors. That's why I'm asking. There's the, six fog hounds who are like the military personnel, the gang, and then there's the sailors who are actually the crew of the ship. I see. Yeah, the ones who just move the stock around and stuff. And right. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. So using my knowledge of being on ships previously in my in my vast history. Mm. Um, the Leviathan ships. I was a quartermaster, so I probably know the itineraries, the you know the, the documents they usually have. I've then produced these, and I'm uh, commanding. So I used to be an officer on said ships, so I know how the sailors kind of react and interact with each other. I know how the ranks work. Hmm? So I'm using that to command him to get back to work and don't bother interrogating me. I'm definitely not sneaking around on the ship suspiciously. <laughs> okay. So what are you rolling? Uh, command. Okay. Is there anything you want to do? Any pu pushing yourself? Ooh. Yes. Push myself. Press Too any of, pull any of those player levers that you can you can pull. Too stressed to push. Mm hmm Risky standard. <laughs> You'll be lucky, son. Can, can can I can I can I wait? So what are you giving me? Desperate. 
This is desperate standard, because if you fail, he's raising the alarm. Is there a thing where you can trade to go a position lower and then a higher effect? Or... Yes, but you're already at desperate position. Gotcha. Risky standard, let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Is that oh, pushing yeah. yourself as well? Yes, oh, here we go. <laughs> um, it's like I'm <laughs> one bar. I'm like gonna... a feeling of being home. <laughs> go on. Go on. What? Well, even with my even with my forged documents and uh, background and use of very terminology, hmm. with all that combined, is that not worth an extra die? I mean, I, I was giving you standard effect for that, because otherwise you would have been limited effect. Right. Okay. Um, the okay. dice have told the story, I think, <laughs> in this case. Yeah. So, uh, I think, I think, um, the Foghound maybe, like, says, let me, uh, let me, let me see those documents. Give them here, give them here. And he, like, snatches them off you, and it's, like, just... I don't know, a blank piece of paper on this line. Wait a minute. Saffron's uh, drug order, just this scribbled is... on a bit of paper. <laughs> What's this, uh, morphine, opium? We're not travelling, we're not exploring it. Yeah. Six month subscription to Duskval Weekly. <laughs> what is this? We just um, digest. And then he starts. Uh, and he's like, wait a minute, you're one of those, you're one of them that we brought on the ship. You're supposed to be kept to that room. Right. Crew? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, you're right. so on your own up there, just so you know. These, these, uh, these, <laughs> these uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the man you're looking for. <laughs> I've lost my accent completely. Um... <laughs> Okay, okay, fuck it. Um, Gus is gonna... I'm gonna give a command to Gus to bite his ankle, and then I'm gonna try and choke him out. Okay, there is another... He's, he's called for another crew as well, so another crew is on the way. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember him doing that. Yeah, me either. What did he do I that? Guess, yeah, he, what, what? He flashback, is he, has to, is he against stress, is he? <laughs> huh? What? Why are you revolting now? It, that's, that's the result of the failure to command. Oh, right. Fair not enough. just, not just, he was like, right. continued to be All unimpressed. Right. You win this one. <laughs> you win, you win this time. The person who is attempting to create a contiguous, successful and enjoyable game world for us. <laughs> but we'll break you next time. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna ask what everyone else is doing and try not to be a weasel and be like, I walk out to help Lorenzo just in case. I mean yeah, I can't They were they were they did just see me sneak out, so they're probably behind, oh, right? Again, the well, plan No no, the plan was not to yeah. run the top of the ship, it was to be sneak I Yeah, I hate that Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't really gonna go up you just wanna go the the plan okay, was to snake. So, right. There seems oh, to be a consensus, a consensus that the rest of the group would be sneaking out of the office and then surveying the deck to see where we should go yeah. to, con floor to begin floor. our mission yeah. of clearing the boat room by room. And presumably yeah. at that point we would see Lorenzo Vincetti <clears throat> being accosted yeah. by deck guards. I don't know we'd be there yet though, right? We'd still be dealing with the first, at least the first deck we come out of, right? I think well, I've been... Where where am I? I've been I was spotted pretty early on, right? Yeah, well, you're you're on the um on the open deck where all the, the sort of the shipping is. So how many so, so the, the, the top layer of shipping? How many decks are we talking here, mate? On the boat. Um. So I'm gonna say there's a top like an open deck, which has crates on and stuff, and then you have been told there is a cargo hold, which is where this Sparkcraft stuff is. And then so there's, like a, there's a bridge, and I think there's probably some like living quarters and stuff, and that and that's kind of it. But we were we were on the we were on the bottom, though, right? we were on the galley. No, that's not right. I think you were you were relatively uh, on the top bit because where you were had like windows and okay. stuff. 
Good to see you. Well, look, I'm not retconning it. I, I would always have assumed we wouldn't be heading up. Up would be where the main threats are the captain, the fog cat, the captain and the mayor. We would be trying to pick off the individual. So Saffron would be heading down to, um, to again, pick off people one by one rather than facing, uh, facing everyone all at once, which would be the absolute worst thing we could possibly do. Well, you didn't know where everyone was, to be fair. No, but I would assume I would have assumed the captain and the bear were right at the top and the on the main part and maybe there's some more people down below. Yeah. So I'd be heading down. It's always my plan. Okay, well who's going who's going with Team Saffron then? Well, I don't know because I was going uh, basically the idea was to have I don't know, what's his name? John? Guy no, does first first contact. John. I don't know. He doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have a name. Connor. Um, I I think it depends on whether we see the whether when we leave the room as a group we see the predicament that Lorenzo's in. Yeah. Or here, we... the, the the guard shouting across the deck. I His name is Clave. 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 I just don't. I just don't think we see that all unless we all go to the deck, which again is kind of a bit scummy to say we and do I, that. And I don't think you're the game master. <laughs> but we're not uh, on the deck. From and the um, well, we were. We were just step. Oh, oh no. Okay. So was this the conversation we were saying that yeah. the room what we were in, what we were nearly killed in, is was, a below decks room? Yeah, a below decks. Not not the blowers, but it's maybe at least one at least one deck below. Exactly. The top. Very well. Okay. Right. Now I'm he with. He fucks you. off. He fucks off. We don't know what's going on yet. Unless he just went. Think, okay. So let me let me let me because we're going to go around around the houses. So. Team Saffron, whoever's with Saffron, go down while Lorenzo goes up. Uh -huh. Saffron, you very quickly come into the cargo hold, which is what most of the sort of the space of the ship is made out of. We see more crates and things, and you see um, immediately, like a yes, thank you, red. Um, you see immediately. Uh, a large crate that looked similar to that one that you smuggled that was Sparkcraft. Oh, mm -hmm. quite... um, and inside this room you see uh, two, 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 two people mm. they working. Are just two, the two of the... Sailors or foghounds the... or whoever they may be, yeah. Okay, two low ranking. Cool, 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 cool. Um, did anyone come with me? will affect quite a lot of what I'm doing here. Uh, again, it literally depends on where... Uh, Cla the, the idea for Edgar was for Clave to take him to like, people so that they can like, start taking them down one by one. So it, it, it literally is up to the GM in this case. It's up to Clave to choose how to play the mission that I have invented. I'm just... Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can actually do it. Just fine. No, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let me. Let's let... just say that Clave and Edgar followed Saffron, and Friedrich and Silas. Or I'm gonna. Followed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll to see what Clave thinks is the best thing they... to do because he's an idiot. Um, yeah. All right. Five. So he's fairly fairly got his wits about him. Um, he decides to uh, go to the cargo first to, and work his way up. He reckons is the, is the better to isolate these two who are who are down below. So uh, it says a shelf is Saffron. Um, so Edgar. Edgar, sorry, it's Edgar and Clave are with Saffron. I think Friedrich would also go towards the cargo first. Okay, fine. Secure the valuables, then worry about all the killing. Okay, um, Lorenzo, do you need time to think about what you were gonna do or? You have? Are you? Do you want? Do you, want, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, some more time, <laughs> please. Yeah, you can. You can run. You can. Uh, you know, use items. All right, I'm trying to come up with a cunning plan. <laughs> it's brewing. I assure you. And don't forget, these are these these are tier ones, so you know you're, you're more than capable you of one v oneing them. <laughs> could have fooled you. Roll more than a three. Well, the same tier as them. Remember our, our conversation about like um, tiers mattering more for like, what they're good at. So they're yep. tier one and like yep. Yep. sailor ring. Really. Does that is there any concept where they're like tier zero works? I don't know, like like being 
uh, persuasive or being chatty. Was, is we should talk more about like those higher tiers, not what they're down to. Actually, mm. no, I don't think so. I think it's it's cool. not. It's, I don't think it's supposed to be as hard and fast as no, no, no. Like these guys are tier two fighting, but tier zero at you know being clever. A bit more circum, a bit more circumstantial. Where we can make a case for it. Yeah, I, I think you know. Yeah, like the the dockers are going to be strong because there's a lot of them and they're going to be physically strong. Sure, um, sure, sure, sure. But you can go and outwit them in a game of chance or, or you know. Just ruminating. My cunning plan is brewed. Okay. Okay. Good. Shall I go forth? Go pour it. Pour right, the brew. So, so, um. Lorenzo has brought with him part of his subterfuge supplies a forged badge of office, a blue coat badge, maybe even an inspector's badge. And now he's well, gonna. I have to stop you there because <laughs> I think there is a rule about um, about that. I think you need to. If it's a, a higher tier, I think you need to be able to to do something to get that. You can't just magically have tier five, like you know, badges of office. Yeah. Okay. Can I, just, can I can I can I can I use a flashback and say I've purchased one from a black market dealer and probably without access to one <laughs> using a coin. You can. I think that's a good, good use of a coin. Y yeah. There'd be yeah. black market dealers around Dustfall, I imagine they'd sell all manner of items that you shouldn't have, contraband mm -hmm. and that. Okay. I'm trying to think to roll a fortune roll, but what would be a failure? Is there any if is there even a badge of office that would be lesser? Let me just double check. Or like the, I mean, just the a constable would be decent. Someone in the law, an inspector would be fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna roll. So you're spending a coin, are you? Yes, to purchase the badge. Okay, that is substantial, so I think that's gonna that is gonna go some way. So I'm gonna give you two dice for that on the fortune roll. And I think one to three is gonna be just a kind of a river goods inspector inspection person. So someone who they bribe and probably murder on a regular basis. Four to five will be a blue coat. And then six will be a, an inspector. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now with this inspector's badge, I'm going to use my finesse to then reverse pickpocket it into the foghound's pocket. So I'm going to place it in his pocket using sleight of hand. Why? Because when his mate arrives, I'm going to accuse him of being an undercover cop, <laughs> breaching the operation, and it's therefore so... um, shifting the. Why don't you to the... be the the cop? <laughs> it's so mad. It's genius. What I do? What? <laughs> They'd kill me. I want their bloody boat. I guess. Okay, fine. <laughs> There's method to the madness. Okay. All right, go on then. Roll me a finesse. So. Put the, something in the pocket of the person who's standing right in front of you yeah. and looking at you. Yeah, that might even push myself. You're pushing me to almost max out stress. <laughs> uh, what position? Uh, this is desperate. For standard. Yes, I have to say standard because of your <laughs> because of your uh, your flesh, good flashback there. Lovely stuff. Yes! <laughs> Holy moly. All right, all right. Wow. So, as ridiculous as, as this is, 
Uh, I took two stress for that. I'm at one stress from getting a trauma. You took two stress and a coin to do this. Yes. yes. Um, so this guy, he turns to shout for his his crew to join him, and you go whoop! And you just put him. Uh, <laughs> you put something in his in his jacket pocket. The other foghound comes comes around the corner, and he goes, "Oh, what do we have here?" Um. And then what do you do? You like you like go, aha, look at this. <laughs> well, uh, I think your your friend was just I was just having a conversation with your friend and uh I think I know something about him and I might even have something on him that would be of interest to you. If you go and, if you leech into your left pocket Sir <laughs> This is close up close up magic, I love this. Uh <laughs> Behind your ear, a coin. Yeah, he uh, he smirks. He goes to go into his pocket, feels something, pulls it out. It's in Inspector's badge, and the other one's like, he's like, hang on, I need a name. He says, Caro. You're an inspector. <laughs> it's like, no, yeah, I, I, I don't even know is. where it's come from. Yeah, that's what they all say. He's an undercover cop working on your boat. It'll be best to uh, get rid of him any way you can. Dump him over the ship. If you don't, I will. I get up my manifest again. I'll go back to my work now. You'll be thanking me later. <laughs> no, you failed to convince them that you were part of the crew already. Yeah, but that guy doesn't know. He's like, he's like, he's right. He's gonna leave the cop or that. He's like, right. <laughs> I'm taking Kara. I'm take. I have to take you to the captain and sort this. She'll sort this out. You, whoever you are, you stay right here. I don't think your captain will like that. You letting a inspector hang your ranks and not dealing with it. How do you think she'll react? She'll have your head. Worked with Karen for years. I'm not gonna kill him just because he said I said I should. And also, you're some random bloke who's appeared on our ship. I should be trying to kill you, but you rolled a six. So for some reason, I can't. Meta so stop pushing your luck. Lady looks smiling. Okay. I think I think he's I think he he, he grabs Karen. And he's like, it's like well. We'll talk to the captain and we'll tell her that there's a one of her guests has gone walking about the ship as well. Hmm. <laughs> and they go. Okay. And you've got you've got a couple of minutes now where you're alone to leg it. Okay. Do you leg it? Um <clears throat> Yet. You can go back to the others while I decide. <laughs> or do you want me to make a decision now? I mean, it's, I mean, it depends. If you are going to go join them, we can join them with Lorenzo. Would I have to? As do you tell them that the captain them? now knows that you're all escaped. <laughs> do I have to roll an action to join them? No. Okay. Um, I think I could join them then. <laughs> I can't really take down two guys by myself, can I? Or no. could I? Depends on your role. Yeah. No, sorry, I'm so incredibly late. Hello, you've missed hello, hello. shenanigans. And it's not my fault this time. <laughs> so we all know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it isn't. It isn't, I promise. Um, I mean, we can still stealth around the ship, even if they know we're here. That, that That's fine, right? Yes, they're definitely looking for you now. Though. That's the uh, that's going to be the issue. Okay, I'll go. I'll go rejoin the crew, and be like, um, I may have fucked us or something. Like that. <laughs> We're sneaking up on people. Shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm whispering. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Hey, you guys, I might have fucked. Us. Shut the. <laughs> Gus just starts barking. <laughs> yeah, Gus Bloody just dog. starts licking Saffron's hand. Yeah, well, let, let us, I think we should definitely act before he comes. This, we've definitely been doing similar. Yeah. Okay, things. go on then. So, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stroke team, Sephiroth. Okay. 
So, we're all here. Um, so, I mean, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a classic, like, and, and Edgar, please, please try me. I can't remember what your skills are in spells, but we've got all the guys. This is gonna be a classic, like, you know, simultaneous takedown, I'm feeling. I've got my blow dart with my knockout poison. You two take the other guy. I kind of have to get in position and we're just bidding a simultaneous attack. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I can try to get up close, or maybe I don't even have to. Um... <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll get up close and try to take the other one out, basically, while we deal with the, well, with your one. Nice. Okay, and what's, uh, how, how are we working with, um, sorry, what was his name? Sage, Stabby. Clive. Clave. Clave. I was going to say Jess. How are we working with, is he just going to follow our commands? Is there some element of danger? I think, I think he can give you plus one dice. Okay. On a roll. So maybe, maybe he gives Edgar plus one dice. Or maybe... Yeah, okay, well, uh, yeah, cause, yes, let's, uh, how confident are you? We, we've had this conversation with the down but how confident are you <laughs> in your ability? So it, could, it might help Saffron if, yeah, he literally grabs the guy and blow darts him as, as he grabs him. Well, you're well I'd rather have, if, if you don't mind, I'd rather have the hope instead of you, because since you'll be at range, you'll be safe if you don't manage to do what you want to do, yeah. but if I don't manage to do what I want to do, I'm going to be up close and personal. All good. It sounds like a group action, to be honest. Oh. Yeah, you already snuck down. Or snuck away. Yes, know the word There's snuck. There's no prowl roll to, to snuck. But we didn't just go fucking just right. coming up onto the top deck. The prowl was going to happen. I assumed it was going to happen when we actually try to do what we want to do. So who wants to lead this group action in um, taking down these guys? Do you want to run me through some specifics again on the old, the old group action? Yes. So. Um, so, to lead the group against an obstacle, say how you're leading them, then everyone rolls the same action. The person with the best roll counts for the whole group, but you as the leader mark one stress for each person who rolled a bad outcome. One to three. Okay, well, I mean... It's, how are um, you with stress? Uh, not as not as good as your character, who's going to disappear next turn, so she's taking stress up next game. Um... But, yeah, I think we agreed with group actions. Uh, we don't pick the person with the least stress. We pick the person who would be leading the, the action. That's, that's it, right. Um, Which I think should be Clive. <laughs> Clay doesn't have a character sheet, so he has no stress. Um, it's it's fine. But, uh, he's simply an accessory. Being... I reckon he's now, fucking stressed after being interrogated and poisoned. <laughs> he'll give, Silence uh, he'll strikes. Give, and he'll give Edgar yeah. a, a plus one dice. <laughs> So, and, like, um, silent. I, have, I have no prowl, but it sounds like this is just a, or is it a hunt? I mean, it's it's a bit of a, I mean, taking down. I mean, I, prowl. I, I'd say hunt or prowl would be my. Yeah. I have zero in hunt and prowl. I, I personally think it's more of a prowl, especially since I'm going to be going for a little backstab. All right. So who's leading this prowl? I'll I'll lead it. It's fine. Right, it sounds... makes sense for me to do so. Okay, everybody, roll so a prowl. I, can I get the plus one on prowl then? Or is that we can plus one to the gem? Am I part oh. of this prowl? That's yeah. a good point. I, I assume so. Yes. Yeah, I, think, I, I think probably would have been doing what they're doing. Yes. I mean, well, you, you say to... that. <laughs> there have been some diversions. Uh, but yeah, okay. I think, okay, cool. Uh, so do we all get the plus one dice, or does only the leader get the plus one dice? I'm going to say just, just Zazaja, because Clave is just helping. He can't help all of you, basically. He can help one of you. Edgar. Gotcha. Edgar. Gotcha. Um, and what is the, what are the particulars? <laughs> uh, risky standard, I think. Uh, little old risky standard. Ollie Paul's new, uh, national daily newspaper. Would I be able, since I'm leading it and, like, it doing the backstab, would I be able to push that to desperate? Yes. I'll do that. Yay, XP. So we're, we're all rolling as a part of group action. Aspects? Yes. Uh, risky standard. If I push it to desperate, it's going to be standard. It's going to be great effect. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we're all we're all, we're all 
desperate standard, are we? Oh. Um, everyone's risky standard, apart from Edgar, who's oh. pushed himself. I mean, uh, traded position for effect. So three risky crit, Three crits so far. Ah, oh, Silas, that's a team. I rolled sixes last week, so I don't expect to roll any again for some time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. We did... Okay. No, that's... it's not good. That's not good at all. That's bad. <laughs> I got a... Oh, you had a zero dice at the lowest one. Take the lowest. Five, excited me. So you you take, uh, Edgar takes a stress um, for Saffron's failure. Why? As you, as you... (laughs) Saffron's failure sounds like a name for our new ship. Hey, this is Lorenzo's failure. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, the cargo holds, sort of the, uh, like, the disability (laughs) access is not very good. Um... (laughs) So you clank a bit as you go down. Edgar has to work to to stop you from from raising the alarm. But um, I think you all manage to take down these two these Ooh. two fog hounds. Fuck yeah! Um, is this lethal or non-lethal? I mean, I think it. Hmm. Indeed. The non-lethal, at least in Edgar's case. Well, you are leading the action, so you can choose. So I'm non-lethal then. Oof. Clobbered. Clobbering time. Yeah, well, uh, um, Saffron going non-lethal, so... Right, nice. Leading so marks are over here. <laughs> so, uh... Might do a, might do a, a clock for the, uh, the Foghound gang. Literally, each segment is, is one of them. <laughs> Been taken out of action. <laughs> Um, cool, so you are in the cargo hold. What do you do? Wow. I'm prepared for this such success. I think at this point, what we do is fucking the Lorenzo runs in screaming his head off. <laughs> yeah. um, the cargo is secured, but we're still on the ship in the middle of, I don't know where we are, but like yeah, not on land. Yeah, you're, you're no. in the middle of the river. But if we ignore what Lorenzo's done, this is exactly what we wanted to do. Take out some guards and secure the luggage. So yeah, exactly. All right, all right. Theoretically, so, we're doing well. <laughs> so now so now that the cargo's secured, we can... Just, just, just by the way, I did have two pips. I rolled two dice, which, you know, taking the highest. If, that, if I didn't roll fucking two and a two on my prowl roll, it would have gone to plan. It would have been fine. But then what? Then what? You're on the top deck, just sitting there. Yeah, I could survey, like my plan was, surveying the ship, and then choose my moment to strike. The yeah, you seem, to have, in the you seem to have sussed out dice games there, Laurie. Good, good job. What's this? If you if you'd rolled well, it would have worked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how we roll. That's how, that's how I mean, it goes. How we roll. It's like it's one of my strengths. You know, you probably you probably assume. Fuck me for thinking what I'm stronger. I'd have probably got right. <laughs> I, I, I actually think Milo was playing that entirely straight because that's exactly how he talks whenever he plays Warhammer. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that was a six, it would have been mid. Nice game, mate. Brilliant. Right. Well, well. I'll, I mean, as arbiter of this game, <laughs> I think I would disc. I would say, you know, if Lloyd rolled a six or a double six, you'd all been. Thanking him for doing that. So. Oh yeah, but we have to know. So yeah. <laughs> so you know what? You're Failure's sneaking around together like a Scooby Doo gang, being like, "Oh, let's be careful. Let's go in each doorway." Boring. True. Not very daring. I'll give you. I'll give you that. Not very daring. Not very, not very fun daring. to watch. We're taking over an entire ship. What's not daring about that? Yeah. Uh, a duel with the leader of the gang would be daring, and you know, I'm waiting for that. Moment. I think Blackbeard I, goes I, down I, into the cargo hold, like all. opening all the doors and the cupboards, being like, I better make sure no one's going to sneak up behind me. Ooh. Anyway, right. Interesting voice. Chiding done. Uh, okay, so, uh, so uh, we, you, you, you tell us idea, but we got time to this before Lorenzo makes it down, or is it kind of at the same time? I think, I think after Sorry. you've taken these guys down, that's when Lorenzo comes down um, and informs you that, that the captain knows that you've left your, your quarters. And then Clay yeah. is like, "Well, that's it then, right? That means we're all dying, right?" <laughs> you first let's just thing. let's just jump overboard right now. 
No, it's not gonna happen. We we still have to finish what we started. And that's when you're gonna, what you're gonna help us do. Yes, I'm afraid you don't get to uh, to just drown to death. <laughs> not today. Not to do. Drown to death, or he's poisoned to I... death, or stabbed to death. I guess sneaking yeah, around isn't gonna choice. do much anymore. Unless I dress up as a sailor. <laughs> Please, sir. Yeah, and, 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 most and, of its problems. And in the game, what are you going to be doing? Yeah, uh, you got <laughs> that first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mikey, we were in a race against time there. I had to wait. I also my hand up and then using one of the one of the macros. <laughs> Those big lollipops as well. <laughs> So that's a no. <laughs> Please do and, and roll uh, roll two threes and then um, everyone can dunk on you now. Um, cool. Because so everyone's in shit. We've been rumbled. They're going to start searching for us. We're not going to be able to <laughs> get this up and running. <laughs> Tony Stark in the cave in his next uh, three minutes. Uh... That was the plan to activate the hull. No, no we did, we're never going to be able to do it. I think you've oh, got. Well, I you've got, you would have started insane. killing us straight away, surely. I think you've got time for one action before the yeah. rest of the fog hounds are up. Find you. Oh, was it only fog hounds that were in the cargo hold? Uh, there's two fog hounds. Yep. Yeah. That's it. And we have no sailors. And we're on the bottom of the ship. So as far as we can see, the bottom of the ship clear as as much as we can kind of. Yeah. That's too cool. Okay. Uh, Should we set up an ambush? If they're coming this way anyway. But they're all gonna I mean if they all six come, of then... us versus four or five, six of them. Oh, and yes. they're prepared in an ambush. Would have yes. the upper hand. Absolutely, let's do that and have Cl Clave well, I don't know what his name is, it's a weird one. I don't know, I'm something I'm saying that as the one who came up with Zaza Show. <laughs> um <laughs> let's have him call for help. And I we'll mean... set up an ambush. They're coming in, they're searching the ship, they're coming in probably yeah. in twos. Yeah, What's our, we're, we're, it's six of us. Holly, give us a little what, what's What are the entrance points to the cargo? Is there one, only one set of stairs coming down? I'm not making you a map, but yes, there is one set of stairs going okay. into this cargo so, hold. Yes, trap time. Let's fucking home alone this bad boy. Um, Get your fucking satchel of goodies out. Yeah, Does anyone have I'm any like... thumbtacks? Because they don't have any baubles. Hey, I've, got, I've, got my, I've got my fine wrecking tool. That's going to uh, do plenty. I am. Uh, yeah. I mean, so uh, yeah. I, uh, one thing Saffron is going to either go over to the stairs, like uh, wreck them to the point they literally, literally had last stand. But if, you know, as soon as I walk, the whole stairs are going to kind of collapse down as they come down. Like, as they come down. So that's what Saffron is going to do. I actually brought demolition tools with me. Um, oh. so if you need a sledgehammer to, to oh, quietly and 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 <laughs> home Don't alone secretly it. bop some stairs, we could <laughs> quietly do that. I also got it. Also comes with some um, some metal spikes, so we could full on nail in the foot situation here if uh, if well if that it's Christmas do, and uh, and it's appropriate. Do that, do that. But oh yeah, I mean obviously the rest of we can wreck very silently and do all kinds of shit. So I'm pretty confident I can I can save all the stairs. Oh. To Silas can offer you some iron spikes. I like iron spikes. That's I'm loving the sound of this. What do you think? I will say before this goes too far, <laughs> if they if they have you, if they have you trapped in the cargo hold, that puts them at a massive advantage, not you. That, that is a good point. Um, so that's how well we set up the ambush, though, right? Well, one guy well, gets it... ambushed or whatever, and then and then what? They just fucking throw grenades down and or like lock you in. The, the yeah, effectiveness of the ambush, the, the effectiveness of the ambush, really does entirely rely upon the assumption that the enemy needs to come down and get us. Like that they, that they don't actually, that they don't want to keep us alive, and they don't well, want they to don't. gas yeah. us or grenade us <laughs> or literally anything else. <laughs> um, but hey, I mean, what options do we have? We're down here um, now, and thanks to Lorenzo, they're all on top of us. Well, so I think, I think I... if if we're able to jump one, Silas will be more than happy to go on the offensive rather than being 
uh, cowering in the cargo hold. Yeah, or I could, it. There's, a, um, there's a forward motion can be a part of this plan. Say that or, again. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, like, because I, 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 I have a fine disguise kit, so I can try to, like, blend in with the sailors and try to divert their attention somewhere else, like, actually leave the group, try to push them somewhere else. You guys can leave the cargo hold, and if you want to do an ambush, you can hold up somewhere else. Uh, that's not a terrible plan. We go and position ourselves if we have time. We so we go back out of the up the stairs. We wait nearby. They go. So they I'll be the one who leaves first, and I'll try to like, think... tell them that you're what I don't. Know, I saw you, or we're running to I don't know the kitchen, for example. I, yeah. Right. Last remarks, and I want a plan. I want something to happen. I want a roll. A meal. I would say. Uh, I find you're, you're tinkering, right? You're you're making yeah, these wrecking. traps. Yep. Wrecking. I'm wrecking. Silas is putting down the. It's true. I think. I think again. They're not. They're going to come down the stairs to come and find us. I, they would know we're here. They're searching. Them. So someone's going to come down these fucking stairs. Okay. Yep. Friedrich, Friedrich will uh, attempt to assist in that because he's got some. In his burglary gear, he's got. Uh, he's got. Coil. A coil of wire and fishing hooks. So he's going to set up some trip wires. On the towards the top of the stairs. Yeah, nice. Could everyone else just like use that to actually position themselves, like sniper shots or whatever they got ready? How big is think... this room we're in? Is it close quarters? You've got minutes. You got like just... five, five to ten minutes. You're talking about setting up trip wires and nails just in fine. floors. And Silas isn't actually nailing in floors. <laughs> uh, he's giving his nails to Saffron to do as he will. And, and Silas will be waiting in a yeah. not especially hidden position because he'll, he'll be bait. Uh, he'll wait for them. If there's any advantage to be had by the traps, he will he will be skirmishing. I just want to know if it's a rifle kind of environment or pistols. Well, I think I don't think you'll be able to if you stand in in the in the cargo hold. I think either would be would be available. But pistols. the issue is the issue is once the trap goes off, the fog counts are not going to come. One after the other into the room yeah. to get picked off by you. Me and Sol That's why I thought. Push out, I imagine. Yep. All right. Death so or roll, glory, I should think. Roll me, Sephiroth. Mm. Roll me. Roll me. The crafting. Okay. Uh, wrecking. Yeah, and you're getting. Um, are you getting aided by Friedrich or? Yes. There's one help on that. So make sure you you mark the stress, uh, Friedrich, for the. Help. Is it well, just the one stress, or to aid is um, one stress. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This will be uh, this will be risky standard. Nice. Okay. Here we go. So risky standard. Standard. Uh, bonus does one. Come on, now I've not rolled a good dice at any point, so this is <laughs> this is definitely gonna happen, guys. Never say the yeah. word. Hey, nice. Yeah. All right, well. So you managed to set up this uh, maybe it's like a yeah, like a tripwire system with with a with an explosive strapped to like a bag of nails or something. Yeah, um, I want the whole stairs to collapse as they as they come on in. Well, uh, these are the ones we will use to get out to go. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Saffron, I won't allow you to kill us all. So you're all waiting in you're all waiting in the cargo hold and, and you're waiting and waiting and then you hear the you hear the ching as the, the trip wire goes and the what the, the as you hear and all the nails thud into the um into the metal sides of the of the wall. And you hear uh, uh get back 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 and, and shouting and stuff. And then silence. Oh, well, maybe like commotion as you hear them kind of drawing swords and pistols and things. So do they want to take them out? I think it's that time where you hear the crunch. Crunch of the rage essence file. <laughs> uh, let's, let me just, let's hold on one second. Yay! I'm sorry, no, nothing happened from this, this, this <laughs> wonderful contraption. They just... Buckle. Anyone got taken out? Any wounded? I just took down a segment of the fog hunt clock. Okay, nice. One second. Wait. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, so you killed one of the guys, essentially. Just a guy. Or disabled one of the guys. With the cool. elaborate trap that you were able to make in three minutes, yes, you killed one guy. Nice. Do you Love think that. that's unfair? No, I just wasn't. I wasn't clear. I, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get what the. Like, so all I heard was I hear a clink and then go run away. But yeah, someone's dead. Great. Yeah, yeah. Very happy. He's Very filled happy. with nail shrapnel. Love it. Love it. Good wins. It's like in Peaky, Peaky Blinders when they uh, they leave the pliers. <laughs> like all we used to do to the Germans is to leave them with pliers as a joke. Um. All right. So Silas is... He's crunching his vial. He clambers over the body of whoever's covered in nails. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and you know, his, the rage essence is, is flowing into him. Uh, and he says, Invite us onto your ship and try and kill us with assassins. <laughs> I'll show you! <laughs> And just just flies out the door to whoever's there. He's got no idea. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Earlier. All right. You see. You see the three four cars. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Silas. It's been a long time. <laughs> um. You see she's, the. She's pinned to the wall. A saber through her throat. Uh... Yeah. But you oh, did yes, see that coming, did you? All right. So there's the three four cars uh, that you see in front of you. Okay, I think it might be time to push myself. Does anybody join in yes. the, the uh, charge Lorenz of the light brigade? Lorenz is going to charge with two fine pistols drawn, Gus at his side, assisting Silas. Okay. Right, so let me just remind myself the effects of the Rage Essence file and hope we don't kill any teammates today. No, it's not written down here. Uh, I'll just check the book in a second. Um, I think it's just increased increased effect. Uh, but also things like can shrug off pain and all the relief. Mm-hmm. One moment. Dun. You take two extra die then, I think. So. Uh, okay. Uh, the effects as worded are... Ah. Uh, greatly enhance user strength, resistance to pain, and irrational aggression for several minutes. GM will modify your position and effect accordingly. Um, so you tell me, but don't forget there are two consequences: can't tell friend from foe, and can't stop until they're all broken. Um, he's also going to push himself, um, and he also has not to be trifled with, um, allowing him to engage with a small gang on equal footing in close combat. Yep. So, but he is also stabbed. So, <laughs> but it feels like it's going to be there's going to be enough ups to to. to so how uppers. many um, how many how many dice this can be? So the position I presume is going to be desperate. Yes. More, uh, more because more because if you if you fail then you will it's die. friendly fire. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope you hope you enjoy hope you're enjoying your new life as a frontline fan to Lorenzo. <laughs> um, the effect will be. I've got a fine a, a fine hand weapon. Yeah, uh, I think I think it's it's, it's going to be great. I think. Uh, yeah. You'll take them all down. Um, yeah, if you roll a success. Uh, and uh, bonus dice is going to be um, one from pushing myself, and then what? Do I get another one from Lorenzo, or is, or is he a separate action? That's just bonus dice. I'm assisting you. Yep. Do you still do that for moment. free? You got that? You got yes, that skill still? I yeah, kept nice. that. Yeah, I kept that and take it instead of taking a new one. Nice. Ouch. Hey, it's a gritty. That's a Whoa. fucking roll. That's a fucking Holy roll. Dice. Holy mother! I think we're going back to back here, so it's like I'll be doing it. Me. A great effect. Damn. Oh, Jesus Christ! So the river is... runs red. Yes. <laughs> but burgundy is blood. Uh, I don't think I don't think you get anything for three sixes. Yes, you should. It feels okay. It feels nice. Roll the table. Do. <laughs> so you're in charge. Um, of it. So I guess, I guess Sil- <laughs> Silas just charges out of the room like an absolute madman. Um, yeah. No idea what's there, but he's he's just uh, he's ju- he's just a hurricane of of of, of blades. Yeah, I think as, I think actually what we can do is because this is such a good success, we can say that mm-hmm. 
you basically get all the effects of the rage essence value potion um but really none of the downsides maybe Ooh, maybe yeah, you got the dose just right or you know whatever it is it's mixing well with the porridge that you had in the morning maybe the, the downers and that's the uppers it. that's it <laughs> you've hit a perfect whew. um oh, terrific that's cool. so um i'm assuming this is this is lethal takedowns yes i think uh yes all right so you, you <laughs> uh, certainly on the rage essence file as well yeah yeah um, um uh yes um so you take them I, down with greater plop yes he right. just i presume he's charging out into like a corridor or something um i think the I, entrance I, to the cargo hold is like um is that one of those doors that you can kind of seal shut um but it, i think it just goes out onto the main deck mm. So you just run out, and they've kind of backed off because of the traps, and you go past all the the, the dead guy and the exploding and nails, and you see them. You catch them completely off guard. Yeah, ba barrels out, just runs one straight through, uh, and I imagine as their surprise, he's and it's. He, I think you know in my head it's cool that he's like a doing some sort of like slick John Wicky style fighting, but it's it's not. It's like s skill out broadly out the window. Just mm -hmm. ferocious slashing. Uh, yeah. Guards break and and down go the foghounds. Nice. Um, it's a whirlwind of death. And um, what the rest of the so Lorenzo, you're there. Um, yeah, I think I think you're sort of pistols. Goes to stab one, or what are you doing? Like punching through their chest with your big metal gauntlet, the big spiky gauntlet. Oh, it's, it's like a bit of both. He's got saber in one hand, gauntlet in the other. So maybe he just like runs one through. I think as you stab one, I'm taking my pistols and popping shots in their chest to, you know, finish them off. Okay, cool. Or, you know, yeah. Um, rest of crew, are you joining? Uh, I'm not really a frontline fighter, so I'm letting this play out. Yeah, big, big, big. Uh... <laughs> Time. Very are much you, backline operators. You're not hiding in the cargo hold, are you? Or you, you are, and you're. No, no. I mean, we'll, we'll follow follow at a ranged combat yeah. of all okay. distance. Well, I think yeah. As Silas and Lorenzo, you kind of um, sweep Sounds through cool. the, the the stacks of cargo, um, towards the bridge, and I think at the top of the stairs you see. Oh, go on, Saffron. Well, I was going to say, uh, obviously not knowing how this is going to go, but he said he'd carried on. I was going to use the time, because, you know, we need a backup. The backup plan was always to, like, scuff at everything. So I was going to potentially use the time to, like, start weakening, like, a point in the bottom of the ship in case things go fucking wrong, so we can just take the whole thing out uh, more easily. But it sounds like it's moving pretty quick, so maybe that's not the best use of my time. But uh, that was something I was thinking about as well, so... You can be in the in the cargo hold, like with a little a little corkscrew. Do a little hold. I think I like start like setting up a few little yeah start start like yeah wrecking the yeah to the point again it's very weakened so if we did need to at a moment's notice uh, I'll spring back and uh, uh, destroy shit, but it would be easy to do. I'd be to say that you're doing that. In the meantime, if, I'm I'm, I'm right. sure you, you out of all the whole crew, you are probably not the one who would be. No, charging very with the rest of them. No, do what, do what everything you're doing. So we're trying to use words some other way. So yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Do we to roll wreck on that? I'll just kind of say it's always happening. I think we can say that's happening. Like you're analysing cool. like the structures, and you're able to be like, okay, if we need to to sink this ship, I know how to do it. Great, love that. that I'm a big fan of that. Um, all right, yeah. So you, as you go up towards the bridge. Um, You see, um, Captain Margaret Vale uh, holding like a, a rifle and pointing it down towards the cargo deck. And you see Bear standing next to her with two, two big pistols, quite similar to yours, Lorenzo, the double barrel pistols. And you stop as you as you as you see each other, and there's a there's a moment of brief tension. And then Bear, as he's got his two pistols, he takes a step back and he points the other one at the back of Margaret's head. Oh, shit. Ooh. And she sees this 
and she says, Bear, what the, what the fuck are you doing? And he goes, Heh, apologies, Captain, but Inspector wants to make sure neither you nor the Emporium make it off this tub alive. Wrong. <laughs> Bear, we know so little about Bear. If, if this was a TV show, it would be a flashback episode of the, the prequel of Bear, starting when he was a three-year-old little bear cub and where he is now. But we we would assume he was quite a die-hard foghound, or we always go, he's, he's give up more like just a gun for hire kind of vibe. Yeah, I mean, he's, he, I mean, he was he, he is his second in command. Um, yeah, oh, sucked. And uh, and Margaret's like, Bear, what in what in hell's are you talking about? says um and he's pointed the guns and he says i had a i had a man in the cargo hold earlier setting explosives maybe after i receive my reward from the inspector i'll wave to your ghosts as i head up to my new life in severus can i not have found those explosives while i was studying the cargo hold feels like <laughs> i should have seen those in some way shape or form flashback <laughs> I can't really flashback. I can't say I'm looking for them. Yeah, you can't well. flashback to the earlier score. in the score. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't spot anything while I was studying the whole <laughs> the old uh, cargo there. And there. Well, I think it's a pretty big cargo hold. So, so I guess if they're in boxes, I wasn't checking boxes. I suppose. Yep. Um. Didn't hear it on this beeping sound. <laughs> Fuck! It's just got interesting. Mm. Hearing that, though, you could go down and try and find him now. I haven't heard shit. I'm down the cargo, mate. And as he's as he's as he's saying this, he's making his he's walking backwards. Um, and he's keeping the pistols trained on you two and, and Margus. Like, bear, don't do this. I thought you were loyal to to me, to the foghounds. A democracy. To democracy. And he's like, sorry, Captain. It's a better life for me on the other side of this. Never was, was much of a sailor anyway. Oh, and he goes to, to leap overboard. That was our bloody plan. He's just on our plan. Long ship <laughs> That was our fucking plan. Um, <laughs> we got greedy. We got greedy. And uh, I'll allow one action to try and stop him. Uh, I mean, we can stop him jumping off the boat. We can't necessarily stop him triggering the explosives. If only oh, Saffron was on the damn dodger tailing the boat behind, he could <laughs> pursue him. <laughs> <laughs> like mm, really yeah, only had been not there. Chug, 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 chug. Um, well, I mean, someone could run down to the dock to the basement and tell Saffron, but you guys, someone up there needs to... Yeah. Well, I think the, the order of... I, 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 In my head, I'm imagining only Silas and Lorenzo are close enough to do anything, as they're the ones who were charging ahead. That's... I think I think Lorenzo gives Silas a look as he reaches for his rifle to see if he has his go-ahead. Uh, you, you actually, you actually don't get a response from Silas at all because he is the effects of his uh, drugs are wearing off. He is, and he is starting to slip away. Gotcha. Um, sort of barely, he, he's sort of barely conscious at this particular moment. Um, so uh, uh, no ascent or or descent from him. But I think the floor <laughs> is yours. Roger is is uh, is bad. pilot takeover. Is Bear yeah. already, like, jumping? Or is he yeah. still stuck you, you, you have, I think, I think whatever you do, you could do it as he's, you know... He's dropped towards, his door, started moving, so you... Well, he's kind of pointing it towards you, and he's going towards oh. the uh, okay. the side of the of the back of the boat. Um, and he's like, you can see him putting a leg over the side. Um, right then. Well, that was your I think, time. I think I'm going to say to Gus, sick him, and then draw my rifle. Gus mm -hmm. is going to go after him barking, distracting him, and then uh, I'll line up a shot. I'd like to say I could help you in some way, but um, <laughs> I think Silas is in the process of dropping to his knees. 
<laughs> Position. You have a gun pointed at you, so it's desperate. Oh, he's quite far away then, no? He's what? Sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, he's, he's... I thought he was like quite a distance away. I would still say pistol, yeah, lethal pistol range. And these are like yours, so they're not like blunderbuss pistols. These are like dueling pistols. pistols. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Standard uh, effect. Standard effect. I mean, you're, you're trying to. What are you trying to do? Trying to kill him or, or just stop him? Stop him. Okay. So yeah, I think standard effect. Um, but um, yeah, I think with Gus, you'll have standard effect. Without okay. without trading or pushing or anything. Uh, push, push. <laughs> I can't. I'm stressed to the nines, mate. <laughs> you've you've got you've got no trauma yet. <laughs> True, mate. Trauma's great. I've only got one stress box I can use. I don't even have the two. Or can I yeah, push? Can I, can if, I push if, and then just take a trauma? Yeah, it carries over, but then you'll be out of the score. Well, you won't be able to do any action rolls. If if traumas. Sorry, if just to interlude, if stress goes full, is that trauma? Does it need to go over? Uh, if it's if it's full. Excellent. Then as, as Silas is is very much dropping to his knees as he is suffering his first trauma at this yeah. time. <laughs> I think I think also uh, Lorenzo's gonna push himself, take a trauma, and when his when his when he's so drained, this is, he's gonna put all his energy and concentration into making this shot. It's been quite a stressful score for Lorenzo. That's that to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Ugh. All right. Success with a consequence. Um... Yes, no! That's got to be a one, right? <laughs> Do me. Do me. Oh, don't, don't you me. dare. So, so you wanted to stop him? Yes. Do you want to him. just you want to impair him Disable and keep him, him alive? Yes, disable him. So I think what happens is... I think you stop him, but I think the consequence is... Your shot hits. And I think as Gus goes to grab his ankle, pulls him down off the side. And oh. as you shoot, I think he, as Gus pulls him down, the bullet just goes straight, straight through the head. And oh, kills sure. him. Kills him dead. <laughs> That's fine. That's happy accident. Media. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if you'd have said you wanted to kill him, I would have said the opposite. <laughs> nice. It was true. To my favour. <laughs> the reverse psychology plays in effect again. Nice. Wait, you did what? You did want to kill him? No. Yes, I did. Well, no, I didn't. Come on, tell the truth. Don't be a weasel. No, I, I said I wanted to disable him. I wanted to impair him so we could go and. Uh, you know, take him in, interrogate him, whatever. I uh, killing people is not good for us. I don't want to kill him for sure. We've already killed someone, so again, heat's already up. Not to yeah, bad. Yeah, I don't does, think does he does. Does the heat want... stack per like... kill? No. No, there's like six oh, dead bodies okay. on this ship already. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that. I thought it was per kill it stacks. So okay. I also don't know the value of interrogating Bear, but I guess, I mean, he's, he's, he's working with the inspector, right? So. Well, I, I my thinking was shooting to kill would have been harder. So I wanted to shoot to disable him just in the body or in the legs or whatever. Yep. Okay. Um, that was my thought process. All right. And then, uh, so this happens. Um, Lorenzo drops and falls unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fall unconscious, but you just can't do any more action rolls. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was actually clarified by John Harper. So. Gotcha. The creator of the game. Um, so I think... Maybe the rest of the crew catch up and Margaret Vale looks at Bear and says, you fucking idiot, Bear. Why did you do this? And she turns to to you guys and she like, has a rifle, kind of holds a rifle, but not like it. it's not pointing it at you. It's like, well, it looks like you've you've won. The ship is yours. It also sounds like the inspector wants us all dead. 
So before you kill me, why why do his dirty work for him? I have no love for the red sashes, but I do care about this ship. If you help me stop this explosive, get the ship to safety, then I'll hand it over to the to the Emporium. But if but in return for my help, I would ask that you would make me captain. And I will sail under your colours. I was gonna suggest that I like that deal. Yeah, I mean that sounds pretty great. It's a good deal. Who's actually so Sil um, Silas and uh Lorenzo both have action now? They can't really do much, but they are there. They're kind of just completely wiped. I think Lorenzo says to uh, Margaret, and how do we know we'll have your loyalty? You can't just dissolve your own gang and then join another. Guys, there are places in the bottom of the boat that will probably go and start the process of stopping them. Can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to announce the voice. <laughs> you sounded like... Uh... You sounded like bad. Sound like a mouse droid. I said there are explosives in the bottom of the boat. I feel like there's very little um, <laughs> urgency about this. Oh, that was much easier to understand. Yeah, well, I gave up the I gave up the bit. <laughs> um, how do how do how do you keep her loyalty? She says, "Well, you. It looks like the fog. My crew are all dead. Without your help, my ship will be at the bottom of the river, along with all of us." Feel there's nothing left for me, apart from potentially working for your crew. At least then, I can help put a bullet between the eyes of the ins that inspector, and I'll smile at him as our souls are ripped apart by the spirit wardens. Now there's an objective we can get behind. Sounds anything agreeable. Else, anything else my life is. amounts to will be. Surplus. Sounds agreeable, but uh, the loyalty is earned. Silas, Silas grunts, uh, sort of recovering his senses slightly, and says, All right, so, uh, uh, the bomb. Okay. <laughs> Should we just yell down the information <laughs> for the boys? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Saffron's like, oh yeah, oh, very interesting. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh. <laughs> These beams are very load bearing. <laughs> what? Well, what are those nails? <laughs> Good. I, yeah, back, I, I don't think it's very difficult for you to notice the uh, the ticking uh, the ticking uh, explosive in the cargo hold because because you're literally looking for a place where you would put the bomb, right? So you. Well, wait, I mean, that, that's kind of what I was. Yes. Exactly, yeah. So you, so. so you would find the. Uh, what else this? The location. <laughs> what did I ask? Um, I hadn't decided yet. Oh, well, there we go. Lovely. And, uh, yeah, I think I think we can... I mean, what would you do if you came across a live explosive? You, you, you'd probably disarm it? I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, that's literally fucking what Saffron lives for, is high-intensity tinkering <laughs> with something incredibly dangerous. And you'd probably, like, it's put fucking... on pause in case you want it to go off, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, if I yeah. fuck it up, that's fine. Like, I'd rather just like have the fun of it. Maybe, maybe it's a blindfold and just for the shits and giggles. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think in the interest of time, we can say that the the score is is effectively over. You managed to oh shit, my get goodness. back together. Oh, man. You disable this this explosive. You turn the ship around and head back to the dock. Um, as the spirit warden crows come from the land and start circling over the over the ship, um, I feel really bad for the damn dodger now. <laughs> well, actually, no, it was more one no, nimble boat. Yeah, fleet. yeah, no, it's, yeah, exactly. This, right, ship, right. this ship's not going to go up and down the canals. Thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, well, this is very exciting. This went mm. somehow worse and better than I thought it would. The 
Perhaps Saffron, you examine the Sparkcraft box on the on the voyage oh, well, back. Yeah, absolutely. As soon as soon as soon as the the, the stakes are done, it's, it's crack crowbar open the the, the, the box and <laughs> yeah. straight away. Let's go. Um, you crowbar open, and the hull is not in there. Oh, for fuck's sake. What you find is another bomb. <laughs> you find that the box is mostly empty. And okay. it's and it's been and it's been designed to look mm. um, like it was carrying something more important than it was. However, the Sparkcraft elements of the box are genuine, and you are able to salvage um, parts from it. And I'm gonna say, dun 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 dun. dun. Da, 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 da. Oh. Uh, it's <laughs> it is worth three coin. The uh, the spark yes. bits. Good good stuff. That's all good stuff. Um, but you do actually now have your first bit of turf. Yeah. Ah. Fuck yeah. Nice nice, um, nice bait and switch. Yeah, it would have been almost too too good a time to have that be quite so much but that, that's great what a good result um, and the fog hounds are destroyed that's Effect- awesome. effectively that's um, and, we have and we have a cohort basically now cool. that's true well I would say that the, the ship is, is more of a it's more of the turf I think yeah, it's, been- it's like a it's like a floating kind of I think you're muted, Laurie. I feel like that all went dramatically better than we thought it was going to. Hello? Hey, yeah. So I'm going to tick down Red Sash Power, so you've taken out the Fog Hounds. Nice. Um, which... So what, like, power? Do you, by power, do you mean the, the clock? Do you mean the... the, the so the um... Red Sash is... Um, the red sash clock, which sort of uh, signified um, all of their bases of power, which the Falcons were right. one of. Um, and which which turf do you want? Do you want the one to the to the oh, left oh, or the right? There you go. Let me bring up the old sheet. It's to be sort of load. Oh, I mean, hmm. Hmm. Earth by themselves and super exciting is what comes next. So we're looking for. Basically, do we want um, informants or cover operations sooner? Or a side business or a vice den? So it's coin. Uh, more info for gathering, or more, plus one die for gathering info, or minus two heat per score. I'd probably opt for minus two heat per score. Yeah, it's good. But you, it's not like... you hate that heat, don't you? Do you mean that? Well, heat it's is gonna, a, heat it's is gonna, a problem. Gonna, it's gonna bite us in the ass because we're not being we're not being careful about it. Mm. It will bite us in the ass. I love this because a tablet. Wait, we've already oh. got one star wanted. And soon to be two. One star. Um, I would also say, as a as a result of that score, um, as you reflect on the events and what Bear said, it was very clear that the inspector's plan all along was to get you and the Red uh, the Foghounds in one place and take mm-hmm. you both out. You don't know why he'd want to take out the Foghounds, but this does mean. That you are fully at war with Oof. the red sashes, as all veils drop. As a as a part of this these goings on, um, I like mm. to think we'd also have made contact with the um, lamplacks and basically said, "Hey, look, we subverted an operation against you. Would you like to work together a little more mm. against the red sashes? Is there a possibility of us gaining reputation or gaining um, I can't remember what word is relationship with them?" 
Mm. I mean, I, that's certainly got to happen, right? Mm. Or at least we don't, the conversation will be. Happening. I think from from where they're looking, where they're standing, you kind of destroyed the fog hounds, I guess, rather than hurting the red sashes. Well, the mission was we were told by the red sashes to deliver this hull to the black black tree right? to mm. fuck with them. So by stopping that, we've helped them out. But the hull was a ruse. But they don't know that. Why don't you just tell them that they you stopped a load of assassins from killing Bazos in the toilet? And they that really love you. Maybe. Yeah, big fan of that too. Mm. That all great. Uh, I'm uh, I'm pro heat reduction. By the way, I think I think heat is going to become a problem for us, especially because we don't. Seems to be spending a lot of actions reducing it, and we're also going to have less actions while we're at war. So that's yeah, something. Yeah. Like, obviously, we, won't, we we don't actually get that yet anyway, do we? We just that's that's yeah. the next thing we get. Well, like side side business, very good. Tier roll heat minus coin. Vice tends the same. Yeah, yeah. So by going for the minus heat, we'd also get an option to. Okay. Side yeah, business. yeah. Fine. I'm fine. Yeah, let's go right side. No, no worries. No, no complaints here. Um. Okay. Cool. And then what else can we do? The post score stuff quickly. Um, so you only got that three coin from the Sparkcraft bits. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, in terms of rep, you get your you get your two rep by default. Yeah, well, that's you, a one you, plus one. Two rep, one plus one. Um, the four counts are the same tier as you, so you don't get any higher or lower rep for that. We're down to weak holds because we're at war. Uh, so you will actually be, um, after we do all the payoff and stuff, yeah, you will go down to tier zero again uh, for being at war. Fuck. <laughs> That's going to make the war harder. Yeah, yeah, that's not what... <laughs> um, We've had this conversation before, so that, that, that was not effect, was the effect of war when your hold went down and your tier goes down, or is it because it's already weak? You just go down one tier. step, so you're going back to strong tier zero. Right, we're weak tier one. Okay, yep. cool. Um, Take the sheet. Now looking at heat. Mm-hmm. We're still wanted, aren't we? Christ, did we do nothing to reduce heat last? You're healed, I think. Fuck. <laughs> we did not think this through. <laughs> so I think I think the heat is starting at two, contained standard exposure. Um, I don't think it was. I think it was. I don't think it was that loud. I mean, there was like fighting and stuff, but I think being on the ship does make a difference. But I think it's still two heat. And then I think. Why is it, is, why is it standard just because we killed people? It's. Well, it's not smooth and quiet. Smooth and quiet would be like you weren't even there, kind of thing. But, like, but who, but no one knows what happened. There's no, no survivors, no one got off the boat. Like, who's, who's. There'll, still be, there'll still be people who died, people are missing. Your, you know, sure, sure. stuff like this. Um, but in terms of being smooth, I mean, uh, I just feel like it's, there's no. No one's seen it happen, so yeah, someone's died, but that's just. The one pit for someone dying, right? In terms of how the animals are, and smooth, if you wiped out all evidence and all kind of. Yeah, I think smooth and quiet is the reward for doing stuff. Cool. Full, fully stealthy. So you're saying that's all Laurie sports. What you're saying, basically. Just well, there was a raging. <laughs> I'm just bullied, yeah. So, ah, just bullied, someone, okay. you know, there was someone who halted out on the on the on the deck of the ship. Yeah. Because of and there was gunfights and stuff, and this is happening. You know, the rivers aren't these aren't that wide. You know, this is like it's a good point. I am thinking of being we are actually a little bit Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so there would have been gunshots and all this. That would have you know. I base level two, so that puts us up. And then and oh, then wait. plus two heat, plus two heat for killing. Oh, so one of those wasn't even. I'm, I'm not. I'm just trying to remember my my heat level. So. So one, just you get a heat for doing a score generally. So it's two for contained standard exposure. It's cool. another two 
if killing was involved. Any killing is flat two. Yeah. And I'll and plus one if the situation happened on hostile turf. So it's five heat. We're not hostile anymore. Not heat then. Um, so we now That's have all, all of our heat. Now we've got a wanted level. We already had a wanted level, right? Mm-hmm. So now we've got two. Two yeah. star. Wow. And two Shit. more heat. Did, um... that's, when the, that's when they start shooting you, isn't it? <laughs> Three stars uh, helicopters. Four stars tanks. So we're yeah. fucked then. Or if we do the Chico, we get four, four nine tanks. That's fine. Yeah. We'll be okay. Um, and wanted level never goes down. Or I'm back with trauma. It does go down. Okay. Um, you've got to. Want... Yeah, do some shit. You got to put people. You've got a lot of yes. get, a lot of get. You've got to let people take the heat. Yep. Yeah. Like going. It. Go right, down. It's going to be time. Be time. Um, cool. Prison sentences for a wanted level two is several months. So. Well, I think we just pin it all on uh, Clave. 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 What's his name? <laughs> now there's an idea. Oh, that's a point. Clave is. Edgar, do you give him the antidote? He sort of comes above, above and he's like, all right, so we've done it. We've taken the ship. Hand over the antidote, please. I may even do some work for you. This has been a laugh. Yeah, we got a good job for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll pay you real good if you get a prison for two months. Yeah, he will. He will give it. We got to recruit yeah. some gophers at some point. It's true. It's not a terrible use of our coins, or you, you, so you're giving the antidote, letting letting him go. So I'm giving him the antidote, um, but he'll be staying on the ship. Until he'll be staying on the ship until we need him to do something else. There's a captain on the ship; he could help her. I don't think he's uh... he's an assassin. He's a I don't think he's a slave now. <laughs> <laughs> well then, no, no one to do. So he's, well, he's we... dead. So he's, so he's so he's we dead. Can... They have a middle ground. I feel like in this, <laughs> like just talk to him, just like. Ask him to do these things and see if he agrees. And... Mm-hmm. He might not. No. We can pay him. No. Oh, that's fine. No. no, I'm I'm playing the I'm playing the X card. Playing oh, the shit. I'm not okay with being a slave owner card. <laughs> it's just like yeah, we'll let you live. Would you like to come work on this ship now? It's a great opportunity. Yeah, just Here's tell him boat. to tell him to come come and meet us for work later. If... If, if he wants to work for gold, <laughs> for gold. Sure. Yep. All right. We'll go with that. I mean, I'll say, I'll say, you get a, like because you, um, if you acquire an asset twice, right, you get um, plus yeah. one die. Is it or something else? So if we use him again, right. easy. Yeah. So I'll say that he's already like been used once. All right. We can we can make as an notes, assassin. Should, so try putting him in. Try putting him in notes. Yeah. Sure. What's his name? Clay. Clave. Used once. Also, that's the most player character thing I've ever heard. If you don't, if you're not indentured to us forever, you're literally going to die. Because <laughs> I'm a player Whoa. character, and I'm God. So he's like, he's, 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 so would he be considered? He's an absolute end. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's, it's a cruel world, and we have to acquire power somehow. But yeah, I'm okay with doing that. He's just a, he's just a, he's just a knife for hire, really. He's not going to. Yeah, uh... yeah. He's a foghound, isn't he? Or is he a red sash? Yeah, he, he, no, he was he was a he was a knife for hire. <laughs> so, so bear hired these assassins. These assassins. So he's not a foghound. To go aboard the ship. We thought he was a foghound. Take though. you out. There was no no at no point did he admit to being a foghound. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. But so he's like, is he an assassin or is he a cohort? Is he an asset or is he a cohort? Is he, is he, is he, is he, is he Cohorts are assets. He's a human being. <laughs> he's a lover of me. Hopes and dreams. Cohorts are assets, so. Cool. So that's good. So we don't, I'll put on the list. He's an asset, asset assassin, so that's just fun to write and fun to say. <laughs> um, so we just know we can, yeah, we can use him again and we'll get plus one dice. We used him before, so that's yeah. what we do. It's, it's the same as, same as Marlene, the, the thuggo. Um, Guys, I'm reading up on our character sheet, and there's something that we haven't been doing. 
Oh God, which no. is using Smugly. the uh, no the damn dodger's flaws. So it has two flaws. One of them is that it costs one coin per downtime to keep an operation. The other is that we take Please. one heat whenever we use it on a score. Stop reading. Stop reading. Stop reading. <laughs> Stop reading. Stop reading. Go on. So, what? It costs one? The, how much is this fucking boat going to cost to maintain? Well, I'm saying it's one coin per downtime, and we take one heat whenever you use it on a score. Well, the the, the fog hound is, is tough, so you're not, you're yeah, not going to treat it. Then. We didn't use it on the okay. score, we used it on the setup. We almost used it on the score. I did not weld it to the back of the boat. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we can look at that going forward, but... Sounds like a lot for smugglers to have to pay a coin to use their own coin boat. Coin to have a boat just sitting there. That's a huge. The I feel, coin I feel is like you huge, get. Right? I feel like you should get. Um... Anyway, I'll look into it. But um... we can just remove that. We could just remove House... the rules that we House think are bullshit. Well, it's on the right well, hand no, side. If you're looking it's looking the, on the, vehicle. the boat. The boat we stole. Why would we? I guess boats are just a hole in the ocean. You throw your money into, right? Right. Oh, oh. oh Sound like Uncle Graham yeah. talking about his boat again. Um, right. And just last thing before we leave, right. I'm going to roll the entanglement. Oh, God. So, uh, what's your heat currently? Just two? Yeah, it's just two. Double but I do, I do get to roll two dice for wanted level two. Cool, of course you do. That's good, isn't it? It is. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so actually, it's weird because because now you're down to zero to three heat. The stuff is is less uh, serious. Um, Easier to get. So it's just rivals or unquiet dead. So nothing too too bad. What does, what does that mean? Tell me, haven't they moved? moved down pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so rival is a neutral faction throws the weight around they threaten you a friend a contact or one of your vice purveyors forfeit rep or coin per tier of the rival or stand up to them and lose one status with them okay um and i'm quiet dead it's a rogue spirit is drawn to you let's do that one sounds i, want, I do want, i do want to make that that happen at some point because the damn dodge needs to be haunted. Has it got, it's got one ghost on it, right? Yeah, but I feel like it needs to be related to what just happened. Did we wreck on it? We wreck on the ghost being on it because it was a yeah, yeah. that didn't actually happen. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe, one... maybe, maybe Bear is a spirit who haunts you. It could haunt them. Uh, well, that could be fun. Um, I don't know. I have to might, think about it. Might take that as my trauma then. And so I shot him in the head. Haunted. Yeah. A ghost of bear. There you go. It's, it's, awesome. Awesome. it's your ghost to bear. Oh. <laughs> your cross to bear. Um, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that three coin in your crew stash just so we don't forget it. Um, We're getting a bit. I feel like we need to start spending some money. I think that's well, all we, we have only, in the world. We've only got three points. Wow. And apparently now we need to spend one every fucking turn to keep the tiny boat. <laughs> Which makes not, me like not, we not, um... No, we'll, we'll see. You, you don't have to pay that to the crows, though. You don't have to pay your, your tithe because you weren't paid for that score. That was just loot that you got, so... Cool. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, and hey, you got turf. That's really good. Really good. And um, that's pretty huge. The red sashes are halfway to being uh, destroyed as well. Yeah. I think and we also did. didn't all perish. Mm. That's always no, a win. No, not a single wound. That whole thing. That's the first heist in three three heists that we haven't had a single wound. So that's pretty awesome. Lorenzo and Silas did suffer trauma. Yeah, that it's was fine, <laughs> guys. It's fine. Trauma's cool, guys. Come on. It's free XP, cool, guys. Man. So cool. Who's our who's our gang therapist though? That's what I want to know. Proper. Acquire acquire an asset for your gang for your <laughs> therapist. <laughs> um, saffron. It's obviously saffron. 
Yeah. Come on, gather round, kiddos, gather round. I've got the solution here. Just snort this. Because <laughs> <laughs> back at the Emporium, he, he's like he's built. He's got True. one of those like sort of not that great, but clearly spent a lot of work on it. Home bars, <laughs> like the dads make in their garages. <laughs> Yeah. Um, a lot of nails still kind of just sticking out of it, not quite. <laughs> if anyone's it. looking like in a bad mood, he'll be like, come down to the saffron arms. Come on. Walk it through with me. That's true. Okay. And the solution is always crack. But yes. like, <laughs> you have to work through all of the gentlemanly <laughs> chat first. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, Gus, Gus is the uh, emotional support animal, isn't he? Yeah, dog is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The turf by itself does nothing, it's just a step to getting something better. So the turf, um, you can Don't tick it off. Likes. You can tick it off. I'll tick it off for. Oops, shit! What was your rep on? What sorry. The f- uh, that it was on that. Two. It was high. It was. It was. It was. Was it three or two? We just. Got, I think we just got two more. So I felt like it was four. Okay. I would say. Yes. Well, it it basically ticks back the other way. So you need one less rep now to level up. Mm-hmm. Per turf. Thank you. That's okay. pretty good. To work out how to actually we, tick that, but what happened when we le- we've leveled, we've gone off full rep once before though? What did we get when we? No, so the turf basically lowers the max rep you need to level up. Oh, okay, right. So yes, yeah. right. Okay, great. How do we how do we indicate that then? Just put a... no, that was, oh, that's what you were trying to do. You did the same thing I was trying to. Do. <laughs> we've got to just remember it then. We can, we can we can check here on the chart that you've got one turf, so it's fine. Cool. Well, cool, right cool, then, guys. Cool. We'll do XP cool. next. Uh... So we next time. Very, very excited. That was that was yeah, that was crazy. Nice. We're in the war proper now, boys. Exciting. But you know, good good. We'll do your good one down up. times each next time. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Cool beans. Can we still pay for Are a coin we... to get an extra one? To pay for yeah, coins so. to get. You could pay a coin to get an extra downtime. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Nice. Cool. Cool, boys. Right.